Polo, a slate gray whirlwind of puppiness, gnawed on the corner of his chew toy with the desperate focus of a famished hunter stalking prey. It wasn't that the chew toy offered much sustenance, mind you. In fact, it had been reduced to a limp, drool-infused shadow of its former self. But for Polo, whose tiny stomach growled like a miniature thundercloud, it was the last bastion of hope against the gnawing void in his belly. Five minutes, yes, that's how long it had been since his breakfast bowl, a distant memory of kibble and gravy, had vanished into the bottomless pit of his puppyhood. Every whiff of roasted chicken from the neighbor's kitchen, every distant burger bark from the passing delivery truck, was a symphony of torture to his ears. Just as Polo contemplated chewing off his own tail to quell the symphony within, a divine scent, a siren song of savory salvation, wafted into his nostrils. It was sausage bread, that mythical loaf whispered about in hushed tones by seasoned canines, a legend Polo had only heard in campfire tales. His stubby legs propelled him like a furry rocket towards the kitchen. There, on the countertop, bathed in the fluorescent glow of the overhead light, it lay, a golden brown loaf, studded with plump, glistening sausages, their aroma a tangible caress on his little pink nose. Polo, ignoring the echoes of, no, Polo, from his two-legged friend, launched himself into the air. His hind legs paddled against the unforgiving air, but gravity, that cruel mistress, had the final say. With a soft thump and a surprised yelp, Polo landed a foot short of the sausage bread nirvana. But Polo was nothing if not persistent. He circled the countertop, his tail beating a tattoo of determination against the linoleum floor. Inspiration struck in the form of a stray tennis ball. With a mischievous glint in his eyes, Polo nudged the ball towards the kitchen counter, sending it on a bouncing trajectory. The ball, like a furry battering ram, connected with the loaf. Sausage bread tumbled to the floor, landing with a soft plop at Polo's eager paws. His heart hammered in his chest as he cautiously approached the fallen treasure. A sniff, a tentative lick, then a joyous bark that would have woken the neighborhood cocker spaniel, and Polo was in sausage bread heaven. Chunks of bread and sausage disappeared into his tiny maw with alarming speed. The symphony in his belly was replaced by a contented lullaby. He rolled in the crumbs, a furry gray dust bunny reveling in his spoils. His two-legged friend, arms crossed and a mock frown on her face, eventually succumbed to the sheer joy radiating from the little gray pup. With a sigh and a gentle scratch behind the ears, she declared, All right, you little crumb thief, you win. Just don't climb the counters anymore, okay? Polo, satiated and sleepy, nestled at her feet, a contented sigh escaping his pink nose. The chew toy, forgotten but forgivable, lay abandoned a few feet away. For now, at least, the hunger pangs were silenced, replaced by the warm hum of a full belly and the unwavering love of his two-legged friend. And after all, what more could a sausage-bread-loving, gray pitbull pup ask for? <laughs>